Hey guys, Andrew Houston here from Profit for Contractors. Today I want to answer a really interesting question. What do you do if you're dealing with a potential client and you find out partway through that they're looking at one or more of your competitors as well? How do you make sure that you land the job and they don't without competing on price? Stay tuned and I'm going to show you in the next five minutes. This is going to be a good one. So I was on my Profit for Contractors call a few weeks ago and a client said that it's getting more and more common to hear their prospects say, by the way, it's not just you we're looking at, but there are two other contractors that are quoting the job as well. We want to find the right fit. Just, just want to let you know there's two other guys. In a nutshell, they're telling you that you've got competition. It's not just you and the prospect, it's you and the prospect and they're interviewing a couple of other guys. Really simple, here's what you do. Here's what we did to make sure he took over. Number one, he went last. I mean, think about it. They're going to interview three other guys. They can't hire the first guy or the second guy because there are more contractors to see. So go last. Give yourself the best possible chance. Go last. Number two, here's what he said. So I don't mind if you choose me or any other guys, but before you make a decision, I want to make sure that you make the best possible decision. I've written a guide called Warning. Don't hire another contractor until you read this. And it's what to look out for you know, when hiring a contractor to make sure that they give you exactly what you need. Would you like me to send that, uh, a copy of that to you? Would that be helpful? And they said, yes, please. So he sent the guide over and he shows up about a week or so, maybe 10 days later for the sales appointment. They've met the other guys and when he walks in, his guide to choosing the right contractor is out on the table. It's been printed, underlined, circled. This is what they say. Thank you so much for sending us the guide. It's been really helpful. Some of the questions that you gave us have, have ruled out one of the other guys already and we're really excited to be talking to you. In the guide, here's what he had. He had a list of what to look for when hiring a contractor and he had this criteria. He did what I call setting the buying criteria. He made a list of 11 different things to make sure the contractor said yes or no to. And if they couldn't say yes to the 11 things, they shouldn't go anywhere near that contractor. Now he made sure not only that the guide was really educational, but there's only one contractor in the, in the entire planet that could live up to the 11 things. Clearly, that was John, and they ran through the checklist with him. And with a bit of a smile, he answered yes to the 11 things as part of the sales process. Here it was just a formality because they clearly knew that he was good and he got the client beating the competition and not just on price. As a matter of fact, this strategy has moved John from winning 3 out of 10 jobs to winning 6 out of 10. And it basically doubled his conversion rate, moved him beyond just price, and made him more profits. So let's just kind of break that down. What did he do? Number one, he went last. If you're up against the competition, make sure you don't go first. Number two, offer a resource that helps them make a decision. All good marketing is this. Nobody likes to be on the purchasing situation and make the wrong decision. You don't want to buy the wrong car, the wrong computer, the wrong house. You want to make the best decision you can about price and value. So if you become the source of all knowledge when it comes to finding out how to buy what you're selling, instantly you're on the buyer side, not just another salesperson. Does that make sense? So educate. That's why I'm so big on education-based marketing. Everything we've done, all the tools that we've created on the topic of marketing and profit for contractors is about how do we build a marketing machine that is education-based and gets people to want to do the next thing, love it and want more. Thirdly, when you set the buying criteria, make sure you set it in such a way that the only person who stacks up is you. So that's what to do if you're in a situation that gets one or two or three or more competitors. Go last, educate with your marketing, and set a buying criteria that only you can live up to. So that's this week's Profit for Contractors tip. You know, if you're in a sales situation head to head against somebody else, go last, educate with your marketing, and set a buying criteria. If you like this video, please click the like button. Share it with your friends. I'd love some help spreading the word. And I've got a question for you. If you know, you were head to head with another contractor in a sales situation. What's one trick that you've used to make sure that you've got the deal? Please share it down below. I'd love to continue the conversation down there. Also, if you'd like to have a one on one 50 minute chat to see if or how to put the strategy into place specific to your company or see if I can help you in any aspect of your business, just click the button below to pick a time that works for you. Then minutes, we'll send you this checklist mentioned today for beating the competition that you can apply to your business right away. If I can help, I'll let you know and I'll send you in the right direction. If I think that I can, then I'll show you how. Keep in mind that I have limited slots available as it's on a first come basis. Take good care. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for liking and thanks for commenting. And we will see you on the other side.